Good morning. So Bluebeam has a slight issue where it doesn't have an offset function. So most of the time this isn't a problem, but there are certain instances when you want to mark up a drawing and you want to mark it up so something is set away from an original markup. Uh, this could be, say, kitchen cabinets set two inches or 50 millimeters off of a wall. Or in this case, I'm looking at here, I'm looking here and I've got these houses and I've got no rear paths and patios on here. And I'm looking at the quickest way of putting a path and patio on all of these. Uh, if I know the par, uh, the patio wants to be 2.4 by 1.8 meters and all the paths want to be 900 millimeters, it sounds quite easy. Um, but then what happens if I want to offset those from the building by 100 millimeters as well? So, and also you can look at these because these are all on a straight line, but what about when you come to these? You don't want to end up put in hundreds of little marker lines on here or marker distances to say, I want to be 100 millimetres off here and then 2.4 metres wide here and 1.8 metres wide here. We need to set something up so we can reuse time after time and actually get our paths and patios marked up as accurately as possible, as well as as quickly as possible. So the way I've looked at doing this is to use some helper mark uh, markups. And by those, what I mean is, if I come down here, if I'm going to say that I want um, all my paths to be 900 millimeters wide, which is about three feet, then what I'm going to do here is I've used the uh, sketch to scale tool where I've just come on here. And I've said I want it 900 millimeters by 900 millimeters. So that's how I've created the first little square. I don't need that one now because I've got one here. And then because I want to be 100 millimeters off of the building and I want to be able to use this tool in all instances, what I've done is here, this, this square is 1100 by 1100. So it's 200, uh, 100 mil bigger each way. This one is 1100 by 900, and this one's 900 by 1100. You'll see why I've done that in a minute. So what we're now going to do is make our markup work. So what I'm going to do quickly is, because this is the one I'm going to use to identify which areas I want to mark up, I'm going to quickly go over this, put a square in here. I'm going to put a fill color in here so I can identify it right more easily. I'm going to put that at 50%. So that's my, my first markup. Um, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a line on here as such, and another one here. And now I'm going to group all these together. So I'm going to highlight them. What's that? I need to click over a line. So I want to go to alignment, center, and alignment, middle. So I've got a nice box there, and then I'm going to group that. There you go. And what I can actually do is I can add that to my tool chest. So I'll do that. I'll add that to my, my tools. And what I've also done is I've created a similar one for the patio. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, I've created one for the patio down here. I'll um, add that to my tools as well. And I can click, call this um, path. I'll call this one patio and what we're going to do is put highlighter on that make sure this one's set to highlighter as well 
So what we can do now is come over to uh, our, our houses over here. Actually, I'll start with the patio. And I'll put that on there. Now, obviously we need to rotate this. And we can do that by using this handle here. Let's see how close this is. I mean, it's almost there, so I can come down to the properties over this side. 31, I'm still not quite right. 31.5, that looks pretty good. So what we can do now is take this. And the reason for putting these extra red lines through the middle was because we've got marker points here which show us the center of the doors hopefully so what we can do is come over here and put those the patio in it's 100 mil off the building it's in line with the center of the doors and that's where our patio wants to go so and we've got a footpath uh, coming from here so we can use our path tool and put that on here. Now we know the rotation of that one was 31.5 degrees. So once again, 31.5 degrees. And what we can do here is bring this over and put it on the corner of the building. And then we can copy it and bring it down here just so we get this all lined up. Zoom in a bit, take a bit more care. There you go, that looks pretty good. And we probably want one or more of these, and we can copy it and bring it down here. And what we should be able to do is line this corner up with that, with that one. So there you go. So we've got an outline here now. Uh, I'll jump very quickly because these houses are all in a line. What we can actually do is then reuse this tool, bring it over here. Once again, we can come on and click it on. There you go, that's line. Oof, it's moved a bit, but that'll do. And then we can use, reuse these other tools. pretty good and we'll have another one of these over here we've got an object here we can quickly if we wanted to go around that let's put another one here coming up the corner Oh, likes to move a bit at the moment. That'll do. And one more, which will go in here. So what we can do now is come over to our tools for marking up patio areas and we can quickly say our patio wants to be this shape. Few lines in there it needs to find the edges of, but um, there we go. That's a hundred mil off the bill. That that whatever that is might be a bin store. I'm not quite sure, but 
we're up the back. There we go. We've got a patio, we've got a 900 mil footpath, and it's 100 mil around the edges. Do, do this one quickly, oh, wrong place, here we go. Oh, I should have brought that one over a bit further, but I can see there. Click to there. Come all the way down to the front. And there you go. Footpaths marked up, and you can just repeat that process. And there aren't any dimension lines to put on the drawing at all. And you can just use those markups again and again and again. So hopefully that's kind of helped um, you with a process where you need to offset uh, markups from other items on the drawing. Thanks. Bye.